The rapid-fire developments in humanoid robotics keep coming. Atlas from Boston Dynamics is learning to autonomously assemble other robots. Figures humanoids can now get around on two feet, blindfolded. The rising Chinese unicorn Ajibot has started large-scale online sales of its robots. And another credible humanoid has entered the fray, this time from South Korea. Let's get into it. The South Korean robotics firm We Robotics is generating buzz with its new humanoid robot named Alex. We Robotics was launched by former Samsung engineers in Chien and back in 2021. Its name stands for We Innovate Robotics. The startup initially focused on exoskeleton and wearable robotics to help workers, senior citizens, and physical rehab patients reduce strain and improve mobility. They're the latest exoskeleton maker to slide into humanoid robotics. Another buzzy startup. Paris-based Wondercraft introduced its headless Calvin humanoid it developed with the European automotive manufacturing giant Renault earlier this year. According to Wii Robotics, the new robot is built as a modular platform so different parts like arms and hands can be swapped or bought separately. For now, it lacks legs or a mobility platform, so its focus is on dexterous manipulation. The Alex platform integrates with Wii's highly dexterous hands, which boast 15 degrees of freedom across the fingers and wrists. It's intended for work across household, industrial, and healthcare settings. The name Alex stands for all experience. The humanoid is notable for its reported ability to feel touch and pressure without tactile sensors. Most robots need special sensors that simulate the senses of touch to know when they're bumping into something. Alex's developers say the robot's joints and mechanics are so finely tuned and back-drivable that the robot can sense tiny forces through its own structure. They say the mechanics make Alex over 10 times more responsive than typical collaborative robots, also known as cobots. It can reportedly react to taps from objects as light as 100 grams or about the weight of a smartphone. Despite its gentle side, Alex is strong enough to push with 40 newtons of force at its fingertip, which is enough to hold tools and lift a 3-kilo object with one hand. We Robotics says the mix of extreme sensitivity and useful strength makes Alex safer and more natural to work alongside humans. By 2030, we Robotics aims to deliver a general-purpose humanoid for everyday life that combines precision, safety, and adaptability. In the U.S., Boston Dynamics shared this demo footage to showcase the progress its world-famous humanoid robot Atlas is making learning tasks autonomously. In the two-and-a-half-minute video, Atlas handles and sorts parts for the leading Massachusetts robotics firm's other famous robot, Spot, despite an engineer's incessant trolling. It hints at a future where AI-powered robots like Atlas assemble other robots without human oversight. Boston Dynamics says the autonomous behavior in the demo is thanks to an end-to-end -end neural network it's developing with the Toyota Research Institute. They're building on work the Toyota Institute began back in 2023, integrating its so-called large behavior model so Atlas can respond in natural language prompts with autonomous robotic actions. According to Boston Dynamics, Atlas learns through human teleoperation data. Instead of learning one task at a time, the robot trains on many of them together. The company says this allows for generalization, meaning the robot can handle new situations without extra programming. Atlas practices in the real world and high fidelity simulations powered by NVIDIA Digital Twin Technology. In simulation, Boston Dynamics says it can double or triple the speed it takes to learn tasks versus real life. However, the transfer of the skills learned in simulation, a process called sim to real, is never seamless. 
Boston Dynamics has built a hybrid training loop to make transitions from simulation to reality as painless as possible. The robot's AI brain is anchored in real-world physics, since human demonstrations serve as the foundation of the large behavior model. Digital twins replicate all 78 degrees of freedom of Atlas and simulate how each of its joints and motors work, down to tiny forces and micro-movements. Within NVIDIA's Omniverse, thousands of training iterations are done simultaneously. After simulation training, the physical robot runs through real-world evaluation tasks. Failures are logged, corrections are made via teleoperation, and those adjustments get fed back into the dataset. This creates what's known as a data flywheel, where each failure teaches the AI model to make the next deployment smoother. Boston Dynamics says it's scaling up training with more data, more tasks, and more diverse environments. Future iterations of the model could integrate touch sensing, better vision language understanding, and learn behaviors from other robots' experiences. Atlas, which began as a DARPA project in 2012, is getting its learn on as it prepares for its first real job working for its parent company, Hyundai. According to reports, Atlas robots have spent much of 2025 training for imminent deployment at the South Korean automaker's U.S. manufacturing facilities. LG Inatech has developed next-generation camera and vision components for superior perception on the factory floor. Boston Dynamics and Hyundai also announced a deeper collaboration to produce more robots. Meanwhile, in Silicon Valley, the unicorn startup figure says its autonomous humanoid robots are approaching superhuman status at an accelerated rate. Founder Brett Adcock just shared this smartphone footage of the company's flagship robot, the Figure 2, navigating complex outdoor terrain controlled by its new self-developed Helix walking controller. According to Adcock, the robot in the video relies solely on its AI brain to move, not visual input. So it's walking blindfolded in ways humans generally cannot. The advancement could make figures robots useful in logistics and disaster response applications where human vision could be impaired. Figure says its Helix AI model that powers industrial applications can now also accomplish dreaded domestic tasks like laundry. The company has accelerated its push into households as it aims to deploy 100,000 humanoids into the world within the next four years. Meanwhile in China, one of the perceived leaders in the race toward fake humans just kicked off large-scale humanoid robot sales. Shanghai-based Agibot has unleashed its entire lineup on JD.com one of the world's largest online retailers and also an Agibot investor. Also known as Jiwen Innovation Technology, Agibot also just announced it signed a multi-million yuan deal with Maoyang Fulim Precision Machining to deploy nearly 100 of its heavy-duty-wheeled industrial humanoids. The unicorn startup, founded in 2023, calls it China's first-ever large-scale industrial humanoid robotics rollout. On JD.com, Agibot's robots range in price from under $14,000 for the short Lingxi X2 Youth Edition and $23,500 for the Expedition A2 Youth Edition. The pricing is in line with leading Chinese humanoid maker Unitree, whose G1 robots that start at $16,000 are becoming ubiquitous. Agibot's online shop also includes its Omni-Hand Dexterous Robotic Hand starting at just $2,000. There's also a quadrupedal robot that goes for $5,000 and a commercial cleaning robot priced at $62,000. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date amid rapid-fire developments. For a rundown of the Chinese humanoids that have emerged in the last few months alone, check the related video.